So good morning, everyone. This is Kribakaran Rajendran, founder of Algo Trading from Squareoff.in. I have my friend Vishal Mehta, founder of Market Scanner. So this is a fourth episode of Enhance, where we'll be discussing about uh, trading strategies, not specific to trading strategies, but there are certain elements which are very relevant to trading strategies. So we'll be discussing about that every week. So this week we are going to discuss about how to generate trading ideas. Where do most of the algo traders or where do we usually, you know, generate these trading ideas? What are the some of the resources, blogs, books that we keep on reading or keep on referring to based on which you know, we try to generate certain trading ideas and try to test that and then we try to implement it. So the com no, list of things that we are going to discuss in this coming videos will be mostly unknown. Like, you no, know, those sites are not you know, very famous one. But those are no, almost kind of a gems. So, you know, even Vishal also has you know, some list of resources that he wanted to share. I also have some list of resources that I would like to share. So, you know, we will be sharing both these things together in this you know, episode. So, how are you, Vishal? So, should we get started with it? Definitely, because uh, Kiru, I think so. this is one of the most interesting topic, if you ask me. Like, you know, if right, anybody right. wants to start in trading, like okay i right. want to get started in trading but where do i get my ideas from and i think so I, uh, we are trying to address that most important question and sometimes when you're coming out with uh, because i keep on checking on your blog a lot of new ideas come in so that right. question was always on my mind <laughs> that how did he comes out with so many ideas <laughs> so now i will know the secret this time around <laughs> <laughs> fine 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 man. So no, uh, we'll try to keep this uh, particular session you no know, short, like to the point. So we don't have much slides to discuss about. So the first and foremost thing that you no know, really helped me was this site called Better System Trader. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of a podcast interview podcast where you know the the guy Andrew he you know tries to interview some of the world famous, the best traders in the industry. So some of them are fund managers, some of them are no trading psychologists. And some of them are no well-known authors of some famous book. So he has almost done some 190 plus podcasts so far. So even I remember I started this, you know, uh, I mean, reading about this particular podcast only in the year 2016-17, I guess. So the moment I started you know, to read about it, because you no, know, I mean, I was working in my you know, Infosys or previous organizations. I always have some you know, additional time. So that is when I came to know about this podcast and it was excellent like no there is not even a single minute that goes waste no whoever comes here and tries to share their own experience it's kind of reading 100 you no know, jack swagger's book so even no having one market wizard book gives you so much of wisdom imagine you no know, listening to all these hundreds of podcasts and even i remember like i have taken you no know, printouts of all those podcasts i have taken it in wow. 2017 itself so i have you no know, everyone's like breads Linda's you know, and what happens and like what happened to systems trading during this Brexit times and multiple other things. So instead of listening to podcast, I usually you know download that and because you have the both printed version as well as you have the video, you know, the audio version. So people who wanted to listen to audio, they can listen to it. And people who wanted to know take a printout of it, they can simply you know take the printout of complete conversations. So uh, you no know, people who wanted to get started, they just go to this site, bettersystemtrader.com. There mm -hmm. you just have to you know. Uh, select whatever the podcast that you wanted to have you wanted to listen to and you can download it like if you wanted to open any specific podcast you just click on it and then no it opens up this audio version as well as you can download it so if you wanted to listen to the audio version you just you know, click on play that would no play the complete audio version of it and if you wanted to download it you just scroll down and you can you know, download the complete interview thing so that this is something because you no, know, this these guys are real time traders and dealing with millions of dollars. So you no know, people who wanted to get started with algo trading, the views, the ideas, and the things they discuss, and what are the issues? You no, know, usually these guys face with respect to managing you no know, higher capitals, and what are the issues these guys face with respect to managing multiple strategies? And most of these guys you know discuss about how to handle the risk part, like how you can reduce the drawdowns. So and like you no, know, there is one guy called Lauren, and he specifically discusses about short selling. So mm -hmm. those episodes were completely you know different to what you have about the market perspective. So if you have a certain market perspective and if you listen to you know these podcasts, you will think like okay, whatever things that you have learned so far, it's it's completely irrelevant because you know. Most of the things that we usually read are from Indian authors or Indian blogs 
or you no know, some other the, the other forums of like trilogy or trading QA. So these forums are you no know, still at a nascent stage. Like whatever things that has been shared there is still you know like you no know, they talk about indicators or how one can generate trading strategies based on moving average. So those are simplest form, but these one are completely you know starts from the beginning to advance. There are multiple layers here. So mm -hmm. each and every episode is so gem. So if you really wanted to spend some time over uh, you know a weekend or you can schedule it like every weekend I wanted to listen to four podcasts. So once mm -hmm. you do that over a period of time, you will have multiple different ideas. You can note down some if someone discusses about you know a range breakout or if someone discusses about mean reversion, you can you know discuss or you can jot down all those points. And then you can try to see whether this can be applied to Indian markets or not. So that is how I get started with my good trading. Interesting, with very interesting. This. I think so. This is one of the very good uh, podcasts. Kind of, you know, you get to learn so much thing. That's very interesting. Yeah. What else? Uh... Kiru, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, man. I was on mute. Sorry. <laughs> so the next one is you no know, this quanto crazy. So quanto crazy is a kind of a website where you no know, instead of they write about articles, it's a kind of a mashup where you no know, they try to bring in multiple articles from different different sources and they try to put it in their website. So if you go to quanto crazy, like you will see all different different articles which are quantifiable in nature and, and that has been pulled out from different different websites all over the world. So once you go there, you will see what are the you know uh, some top trending articles related to trading strategies. Like if you see four simple strategies to trade bowling bands, stock market data and analysis. So we have so much of resources in one single place. So instead of you going to multiple different sites and trying to you know, note down important articles, they got it everything in one single place. But uh, is it like a contopian or it is something different? It's different. It is, it is different. So Quantopian is a platform where people come there and share ideas and create strategies. Here, this is a, a single place where you have all you no know, different articles listed by okay. you know they have their own algorithms, which using which they pick up articles from different different websites and put it here. So if you okay. open any of these links, it will go to that specific website. So if you open this link, it will go to you know a website which has been owned by other person. But mm -hmm. people you know, rated that particular link as something you know, useful. So whatever people rate most useful or you no know, most rated, it gets displayed here. Okay, and also so it the like a, it's like basically an aggregation of the different articles. So we don't have to go to different different places to find where the good articles are. Okay. Exactly, exactly. So you have so much of articles here, and it is not only related to trading, it is related to you know investing, it is related to machine learning, artificial intelligence, everything. All different topics related to trading and investing will be here, and everything is quantifiable in nature. So nothing is you no know, completely based on you know, indicators or chart patterns. And they have listed all you no know, important resources also here. If you scroll down, you could see you know, almost some 50 to 100 different you no know, resources that is mentioned here. You can just open any of these things like you no know, quantitative is there, quantitative trading is there, quantifiable edges. So all, there are multiple different other websites which they have linked it here. So if you wanted to open any of these sites, you can just you not know, directly open it and you can check it out. But uh, Kiru, I think so. There are two li uh, major links missing uh, square of dot in and market scanner dot in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should get listed soon. Probably, you know, once we start adding more and more values, people will eventually fail it. Okay, then no. Now if I had it, <laughs> definitely you no. Know, whatever we have, it's nothing comparable to what they have shared so far. Yeah, and we still have just, long way to yeah. go. Long way to go. Long way to go. <laughs> so this better system trader is a podcast one. This coin mashup is almost you no know, kind of an article one. So whatever the important articles that is you know related to trading and investing, it gets shared. Here. So people can just subscribe to the email list so that you no know, whenever a particular article that comes up. Which they feel it is really important, it gets shared to your own email ID directly. Mm -hmm. So this is a second thing which I know regularly use it. So better mm -hmm. system trader and contact race. And the third one is you no know, a famous blog, which you know most of the guys who specifically use Ami Broker will know know about it. So this blog is run by Caesar. So this guy, you know, actually he's into I I think Vishal, you know him, right? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I refer yeah. to his website all the time and it's there. So he used to work uh, with Larry Connors 
and he was right, the first right. guy who was the kind of a core team who were building excel spreadsheet when microsoft oh, okay. was trying to kind of come out with an excel spreadsheet he was the one guy or maybe leading the team of excel spreadsheet as an in the okay. first phase <laughs> Right, right, right. So yeah, he, he has so idea. much of yeah. experience. Like he's there in the industry since 1990s, and this guy. No, this guy is also something. No, I really love because whatever things this guy has shared so far in his no uh, blogs, it is so simple. Like there is straightforward, and there is no beater on the bush kind of a thing. And whatever things that he has developed, the methods and the ideas that he has developed is completely no kind of an out of the box thinking. So most people know if they. try to deal with ema and they try to plot it as a you know a trend following thing kind of a thing but he tries to you know create different different trading strategies i think he has even shared multiple different trading strategies and even he sold it to you know large institutions as well hedge funds yeah 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 large hedge funds and institutions so this is you know something you know and another website which i frequently use it to because you no know, whatever things that he has shared whether it is mean reversion breakout or anything he mostly test with you know highly liquid markets whether it is you know s&p index or any other international market index it tests with highly liquid thing and 90% of the time whatever he shared here if you try to apply the same logic with regards to indian market definitely it would work so sure. for once in a while there could be some strategies which we need to tweak further but major things with respect to trading strategies we have only trend following mean reversion and momentum so yep. he covered all this three in his blog articles and the good yeah. thing is everything whatever no he tested out he gives with complete statistics so whatever the ideas that he generate he put up the complete stats and how we you know what are the rules behind it and how it performed everything the complete rules he has it. and even people who really wanted to you know develop their uh, trading strategies or wanted to have their own you no know, trading system but they do not know how to code he runs a specific service on ami broker as well so you can give him the strategies he can develop it and he he can give you the code and he just charges for it so that is also one of the service that he runs so next thing is and alpha architect yeah so this is an another website so which is you no know, run by a guy called wes gray so this guy is also you know one of a famous uh, you no know, a trader um asset manager and this guy is a student of the famous nobel prize winner eugene farmer and mm-hmm. he runs this you know asset management company called alpha architect so they have their own etf and they run you no know, almost million dollars of they manage million dollars of assets which they trade with multiple different international markets and this guy he specifically shares many many important research papers like you know whatever the research papers i mostly read research papers in articles because you no know, ssrn is another website that i really you not know, refer to with respect to reading about multiple trading strategies and researches what people have researched about and what is their you know out, what was a research paper outcome what they feel about it everything you have multiple research papers in ssr but this guy specifically picks up certain things like factor investing momentum investing value investing so multiple things he picks from those research papers and he tries to you know write a detailed article about it like if someone discusses about a trend following he'll explain what are the you know positives and negative of trend following how it can be improved so mm. these guys are not only into asset management but these guys educate their you know investors through multiple research blogs and research papers so if you just go to alpha architect and look, go to their blogs and or read the research papers they have their own books also and they have podcast so these things are something that you would not find anywhere in indian websites mm-hmm. so that is you know the the depth or the value that they create with respect to all their articles and podcast so alpha architect is definite because you no know, alpha architect and this cesus blog these guys are in the, you know in, into the industry for almost you know a decade now and whatever things that they have done is something phenomenal we would we wouldn't find such kind of traders in the indian community so far so they have the excel i mean they have the perfect knowledge and also whatever things they have contributed so far is enormous so that and moreover it is still consistent like even though they have no reach far rights still they are regularly posting the blogs articles on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis regularly mm. and nothing is irrelevant so even if this guy has posted something maybe 6 years before and if you still check that article and try to refer it and try to test it it would be still valid mm mm-hmm. 
such kind of you know information is being passed into this both the blocks alpha architect blog as well as you know this thesis blog and the last yeah. one that you know i really look into was this research papers so research paper i started doing it only in the year 2018 i guess so i randomly i do not know how i you know came to know about this site but this is you know a kind of a research journal which is not only related to trading you can find research papers across all industries so what i usually do is i just go to this you know ssrn website and search for you know something you know trading keywords like you know yeah. momentum trend following whatever things that you can just simply search for it and then it would display all those relevant research papers that has been published with respect to you know those keywords so if i search for a trading then you, you will have multiple different you know, journals mm -hmm. open any of it and read about it so for an example this is an another research paper which states 151 trading strategies mm -hmm. so if you open and you know they'll have all the details like Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And so, and can you see that? Yeah, so they have this you no know, trading strategies, and you no, know, they have the abstract like what this research paper is all about, and they'll mention like what are the things that they have tested it with, and what is the results. So everything you could see, you just have to download this paper and you no know, read it. Mm -hmm. You have this you no know, PDF portion, you can just download it, and they'll have all the details of whatever things that they've tested. So if they have explained about 151 trading strategies, they would have explained all these things. They would have covered, you know, um, introversion, trend following, momentum, the mix up of multiple different strategies, and how what are the results. So out of this 151, at least you would be able to, you know, relate to two or three different strategies. You can pick that up, and you can try to modify that, and you can create your own strategies. Mm -hmm. So it's not only related to, you know, trading. On weather, I can see strategies on crypto, which is like an alternative asset class. Having right, a strategy right, right. on a weather future, because I know weather future is big in Australia. I think so. We are also trying to come out with something in Indian context, but yeah, interesting to know that. Yes. Yeah, multiple things, man. I remember there is a company called Winton Capital. So okay. Winton Capital, they run a, you know, a, another asset management company. What they do is they have a specific, they have been, you know, developed an algorithm which is based on facial recognition, where mm -hmm. you know, these Fed chairmen, you know, who they come <laughs> out and you know, try to increase or decrease the Fed rate hikes, right? So these guys observe the facial recognition and try to predict whether the news is going to be positive or negative before the news is even out so if they My see gosh. okay the rate is high 50 percent or two percent three percent whatever it is before based on the blink of eyes based on the facial movements they are able to recognize it's going to be a positive news or negative news and just before the news is out they'll take the respective decisions whether by decision or sell decision and it is still successful so so there crazy are multiple stuff. crazy stuff people are doing. So what we are doing with 920 straddle, we can't even <laughs> compare with that. <laughs> I, was reading one, too, I, was like, I was listening to one of the podcasts and one of the hedge fund guy actually sent someone to the airport. Okay, he actually paid huh. to someone uh, to go to the airport and figure out because there was a private jet liner. Okay, oh. going. Uh, and that company was supposed to take over some company. So they didn't know which of the two companies that they are going to go for a takeover. Okay. And one oh. of the company CEO had a private jetliner. So a hedge fund guy kind of hires a guy who goes to the airport, try to figure out where this jetliner is going in, whether it is going in South of America or North of America. Depending on that, he will figure out which company is going to get taken over and he'll buy that shares. And I was like, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So with respect to alternate data is something you no know, getting popular very you know it's almost popular in most of the developed markets. Maybe probably in India it is you no know, it's still at a nascent stage, but soon you no know, there will be a huge startups in the coming you know, down the line where just like how True Data GDFL is providing you this price data, so there will be right. companies which will provide this alternate data. So like we have Trejory.com or some other site, right? Which yeah, which provides you all these alternate data. We, based on which you can make your innovation. So there is multiple things. And no, I remember, so there is two to three instances I have read. Like one thing is, I don't know, during this Corona pandemic, you know, there are certain edge funds which used um, satellite images to find out whether the, the Chinese companies are still producing because three out of four vehicles that is running in the roads is specifically dependent on China for raw materials. So these edge funds, what they did is they during this you no know, Jan to Feb 2020, 
during the starting period of coronavirus in you know, China, they were monitoring this satellite images of you know uh, the place called Wuhan and other places, and they were able to see how the pollutions are coming out from these places compared to the previous year, and they could see the pollutions is drastically down because most of the industries were shut. So you no, know, the pollutions were drastically down compared to the previous year, based on which they were able to predict. Okay, the sales is going to be you know affected drastically, okay. and there were multiple people who were you know, tried to exit their long positions just before the crash. Wow. And after the crash, obviously the one they made use of it using the satellite images. And in companies like you know other institutions which also monitors the parking lot of you know Walmart and other big retail companies, and they scan how many number of cars are being parked on the parking lots. Based on which they try to generate how much sales, you know, the company or how much profit the company is going to make eventually in that quarter. So before even the quarterly results are out, based on these number of vehicles that are parked in the parking lot of Walmart and other retail stores, they'll try to predict what would be the outcome for that particular quarter, and they take positions before the news is out. And then once the news is out, it will be like okay, there is a stellar quarter, greater performance. And then they'll dump the shares because that is when retailers will come thinking that okay, the news is great, I have to buy it. So they end up buying it, and these guys end up selling it and make a ton of money. Yep, that's the edge. Uh, I remember one of the uh, conversation. Uh, one of the hedge fund guy was su- super successful. So uh-huh. one guy asked him, uh, like, what's your secret of success? And he write it down on the paper and put it on his pocket. Um, and that guy was very curious. The guy who was hosting and asking him question that uh, uh, senior hedge fund manager, like, what is your success? And they then talked about like well, how the economy is doing, how you know the fundamental company valuations are doing everything. And he gave all the right answers. But the guy was still curious. The host was still curious that I want to know your secret, which you have put it in your paper. And so you really want to know how I make my money? He takes out the cheat and hands it over to that guy, and it was written information arbitrage. Okay, <laughs> so that guy was purely on information arbitrage. Uh, that what he was doing, like wherever there is less information and there was a, a high information, he was playing that information arbitrage. But yeah, we we don't have those kind of necessary ultra sour, like you know. So what we have, we do best with that tools available to us. <laughs> Very true, and even now we started recently exploring these you no know, news-based moments. Like there is a specific uh, link which I'll you not know, try to add it in the YouTube video. You have corporate announcement in NSC. So mm. as per exchange policy, you have to report whatever the news all these companies to exchange first. Then it goes to the media. Right. So before even know it is being published in CNBC, it has to go to exchange. Someone has to scan there and have to you know, upload those mm-hmm. articles and documents, important documents, all these mergers, acquisitions, profit and loss, everything gets announced only in the corporate announcement first followed by cnbc so if you have a you know a, a crawler which can you know, read those news but the thing is you can have a you know a, a particular bot to read the news but how do you predict whether it is going to be good news or bad news so there could be companies which will report okay 2500 crore loss but the, still the you know, share will be going share up. Goes up. So, <laughs> yeah so there are multiple things that you know, you would have seen during the result season no the results should have been bad but the stocks would have gone up because it is already factored it. It knows that yep. you know the result is going to bad. So previously, maybe you no, know, no, one month time it would have already started going down. Once the result is out, it might start go up. So when you react based on these news, obviously you know we will we'll end up going bankrupt. <laughs> but that is one thing that you no know, you can have like you can just scan for a news and wait for price information whether it is going up or down, and then probably you can react. Play on that, yeah. That yeah, is also one good. That. That would be a good interesting uh, uh, piece of ideas if you can put it on the link which reads the bots because I remember when I was it with Bloomberg and Reuters we were always asked that you are with Reuters and Bloomberg so you will get the news first and my answer yeah. was no it's a BSC <laughs> website it's just that our crawler were much faster right 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 so they were like you know pinging that server every second to fetch those right. PDFs. Yeah. And they have this machine learning or you know the AI which reads to the news, makes a news article, the editor has to just approve it. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, man. But no, like just watching CNBC itself is a late news. Like, no, you can't be so sure, okay, you are sitting in front of the news channel to get to be you know updated with the news. That itself is late. First thing is goes to exchange only. Yep, always. <laughs> so these 
are the secret behind the, <laughs> the trading strategies that I usually develop. <laughs> okay. So these so are going very, to very, very, the <laughs> very, very useful resources because you wouldn't find anywhere with related to Indian context anything. But still, mm -hmm. if you try to apply the same logic with regards to Indian market, it would definitely work. You just have to change it. And you just have to. You will get some spark reading that. Okay, you will. You would be getting stuck with something, but reading all these articles and blogs and you know, listening to podcasts will give you. You know, solution for long term problems that you have in your mind related to trading strategies. True, true, true. That's that's true, too. So, this is it for you know from my side. So, probably <laughs> from Vishal's side, we'll have multiple different resources. <laughs> that's the edge. Uh, I remember one of the uh, conversation of uh, one of the hedge fund guy was su super successful. So, uh -huh. one guy asked him, uh, like, what's your secret of success? And he write it down on the paper and put it on his pocket because i remember when i was it with bloomberg and reuters we were always asked that you are with reuters and bloomberg so you will get the news first and my answer yeah. was no it's a bsc <laughs> website it's just that our crawler were much faster 